I was able to make $2,098 in revenue on my first month using a Shopify store that I made. I'm going to discuss some of my tips that I have so far because I definitely have learned a lot. I'm definitely not doing really, really well like a lot of people, but at least I'm heading to that direction and I do have some advice on what worked for me and what can work for others as well. So that is what we're gonna be discussing in today's video. What's going on subscribers? Welcome to another brand new video from the Flaming Profits YouTube channel where we teach you how to become a more profitable investor in the stock market. So we also teach you other ways to make money such as this video through creating an online store in e-commerce where others can shop your products that you distribute to them. And I did this using dropshipping. If you've never heard of this term, it's basically you sell a product that you don't actually have, but once it sells, you purchase it at a cheaper price than the price that you charge for it. And here's a report of my last 30 days using Shopify as the platform to build my website. And I've made about $2,486 in sales. Usually my profit is around 30 to 40%. And yeah, so you see here the sales that I make consistently over time and I'm still learning a lot like I was saying, but I do want to share some tips and the best strategies that work for me in creating sales. I definitely need to work on my conversion rate. 0.45% is really bad um, for the type of visitors that I get. I, love, I get a lot of people coming to the website and not that many purchase. These are my online store sessions by Traffic Source. Um, I use Facebook advertising to get people to my website. It is definitely a strategy that you need to master, especially nowadays. It is the future of advertising, so if you can learn how to effectively advertise on Facebook, it is a good marketable skill. The average order value, the average order that a person makes when they go to my website is $82.60. So you see, that's a lot higher than most people. And that is because I sell pretty expensive products. I think that's definitely better because it leaves a lot more margin for profit. Now let's talk some strategies. Here are all of my orders by the way, about 36 so far. So it's been growing really well, uh, but I definitely have some work to do. And okay, so the strategies. So here we go, I'm gonna list out my best advice for you to start doing the same thing and create another source of income. Number one, is find related products in the US. A common theme when it comes down to drop shipping is that people think that you have to go to um, Chinese companies to buy products cheaply. But here's the thing, buying from China is not a good strategy because the shipping times are so long and if you want it faster, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. So you need to find related US products that you can buy and sell for a more expensive price. They need to be US companies. And second thing is, you need to learn how to advertise on Facebook. I kind of touched on this already, but there's a lot of strategies. It all has to do with psychology. Usually video ads work the best, and you do have to learn how to do the best copywriting you can, because that is very essential when it comes down to getting someone's attention and having them click on your website link. My third tip is to create a clean layout on Shopify. You want to be straight to the point and very clean and organized when it comes down to your products and your store. You want to make sure that it looks super professional, not like you're trying to scam people by them buying products from you. So these are three tips that I highly encourage you to study and learn as much as you can. And the fourth thing is, Make sure you are using cash back credit cards. You have no idea how much cash back accumulates through orders. Like for example, um, that was $2,000 um, basically spent, well not spent, but in revenue. And I had to spend like about 1,200 on product. With those product, I used a cash back credit card, which gives me about 4%. So that's about $40 of extra profit just from using cash back credit cards. So it really adds up a lot, but the main thing is you have to test different products, 
different websites until you find something that works. And I would recommend using eBay to test at first. You should start by listing whatever you want to sell on eBay first and then if you're able to make some sales on eBay and it seems like it's a popular product that people keep on buying, then I'd recommend you to start building a website around it because having a website will be able to let you grow exponentially over time and then you can start being seen on Google for that product. So that's what I recommend. Find a niche that you like and that you know a lot about. That way you can put your expertise into the test. So I tested on eBay myself and that's how I found winning products that I then sell on my own website. So let me know what you think of this strategy. Have you ever tried doing this yourself? Let me know if you have any questions. I know this might be confusing for a lot of people, especially beginners, but let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're interested in free stocks, by the way, Weibo will give you two free stocks as soon as you sign up for the platform. No reason why not to do it. I did it myself and I love the free stocks that I got. Robinhood, they'll give you a free stock as well as soon as you sign up. M1 Finance will give you $10 for you to get started investing with them. And then we also have the Discovered Secure Credit Card. This one actually gives me 4% because they double whatever match you got the first year and a $50 sign up bonus. So there you go, all the links are in the description. Thank you all so much for joining me in today's video. I really appreciate you watching this and give me a like. I would really appreciate that as well. Leave me a comment down below and make sure you're subscribed to the Flaming Profits YouTube channel. That way you do not miss out on any upcoming videos from here. I'll see all of you in the next video. Peace.